let's look at the, the earliest piece I love this in piece. the exhibition. I love this work. A marble torso, probably from the second century AD. Uh, I would hazard the further guess that it's likely from the eastern side of the Mediterranean. Okay. We're aware of, now this could be the circumstances of, of differential preservation of archaeological remains, yeah. but we are aware of workshops that existed in the eastern Mediterranean, one in particular at Rhodes, that produced these very fine, exquisite uh, sculptures in antiquity. And if, if you look carefully at this piece, you'll see that it also preserves its original surfaces, which have been polished. A lot of the polish doesn't make it over time. Is that right? It degrades in the ground. Marble is much softer than, than people sure, recognize. Sure. Um, you handle it a lot, and the acids from your hands can get into it and, and, it and ruin it. It will just deteriorate. It begins by to deteriorate. An actual process. Yes. And if it's in ground, say, the, like what we have here, it'll okay. deteriorate very rapidly. Wow. Or in Italy. Probably, I'll bet it was found somewhere in northern Africa, likely in the sand. One of the reasons we know it's Hercules is Hercules was often depicted uh, with a band around his head, and then these little ribbons would come out like this over his shoulders. Okay. And as you can yeah, see, can there see are the traces of those uh, on his shoulders. Now, at this point in time, Rome stands on the heritage of Greece, the investigation of the human anatomy going back so far, you know, hundreds of years before this piece, that it's, it's, I hate to use the word formulaic, but these guys really know how to deal with the human figure. Sure, sure. And this is an element, this sense of the human figure, where they're, they're so capable of, of making many of these things without much trouble. Uh, this gets lost with the collapse of antiquity. Uh, yes, the pieces are sort of around, mm -hmm. but it isn't until a story later on, which we'll touch on in a moment, that we begin, people and artists begin to look at these sculptures again and seek inspiration. And in this instance, it's a direct relationship between something from antiquity to the Renaissance. Amazing. And of course, we'll talk about the Renaissance in a minute, but it is French for Renaissance, rebirth. And it's a rebirth of classicism, and it starts with one of these. Amazing. Do we know, uh, given this section, what the entirety of the sculpture might have looked like? Yes, we have an idea. Actually, he was most likely sort of seated. It's okay. it, not fully seated, um, but sort of resting on a slight bench-like feature. Okay. And uh, it would have included his whole body. Amazing. <laughs> 